had a, a strong interest in trains, uh, so steam trains particularly. So I would imagine that in there somewhere would be uh, a wish to have been a train driver. love to drive steam trains. He has a huge passion for steam trains. I think that he always wanted to be a train driver. But I'm, I'm glad that he decided to become an academic secretary. There's not many children grow up wanting to be an academic secretary. Ian has contributed to student life in a number of ways. He's someone that very much recognises that university is the sum of its students. Without the students, it's, it's nothing. And, and therefore, you know, he's understood the importance of things like student representation and, and the role of the student executive in DUSA as a whole. Ian knows everything there is to know uh, about student problems, past, present and future. I think he's just always there for the students. No matter if he's busy, he'll always have five minutes to speak to them and help them out. And many that have long since gone have often got back in touch and come and visited them. You know, people maybe 20 years ago that are suddenly doing something else, he, they remember the effect or the touch that Ian's had on their lives. He's always there to help. Also focus on the, on the sort of institutional things that he's done in terms yeah. of developing policies, in terms of supporting the development of DUSA, yeah. of student representation. Over the, the time that Ian's been at university, he's probably been the one person who's been committed to student representation and the students being involved in decision-making processes at the university. So the contribution of Quasar Blaze is immense. Yeah, absolutely. Over a long extended period and without any peaks and troughs. In my own experiences, um, you know, I, I probably couldn't have done a lot of my job without him and his department and the guys that work with him because uh, their advice and support is invaluable and particularly dealing with individual student issues you know, Ian's the ideal person to have there. He knows what to do at the right time. You know, he's been there before, he's experienced it. Um, if anybody goes to Ian with a problem and they think it's the first time they've had that problem, you can rest assured that Ian will have been there before, had it, done it, dealt with it. It's hard to describe Ian Francis in one word. Um, intelligent, astute, sometimes debonair, Ian has not changed in 16 years and I think there's only two explanations for that. One is either there's a portrait of Ian somewhere in the tower that nobody gets to see which shows what Ian really looks like or else because Ian spends so much time with students and looking after students that actually secretly he ages at the same age the students age. I think to me that the word that immediately springs to mind is approachable and that's the word that just fits in perfectly with the way students have always been at ease with them. If I had to describe Ian in one word, I would probably say that Ian is an institution. I would describe him as fatherly. One word to describe Ian Francis would probably be a uh, champion. Uh, he's been a student champion on campus for, for a long time now and I think the great thing is that he's inspired a lot more student champions and people who really dedicate themselves to student engagement um, and I think that we have a lot to owe him so that word would be champion. I think he's irreplaceable.